Hello and welcome to a new video about my device, my regulating temperature control device. All right? So last time we managed to get temperature data. Okay, I used here my my own library, huh? and we are using these DS DS 18P20 temperature sensors. They are one wire temperature sensors, and they have a one wire address. And my library is just ordering them by address and adding all available sensors and I access I can access them by an index. So okay, I want the temperature of the first sensor, I want the temperature of the second sensor and so on. Alright. What I need to do is I need to have a mapping between which sensor is measuring what. So I want yeah, I want to, to, to measure uh, the process temperature, okay? This is one thing I want to measure. Yeah? I want to measure I want to measure the air temperature. And I want to measure the temperature of the heat sink. Okay? I have three sensors with three different addresses. So I need somehow a mapping which index, which sensor on which index is at the process temperature. Right? Which index is the air temperature? Yeah? So I must store somewhere yeah, here index of sensor. for process temperature. I have to store the index of the sensor for the air temperature. And I have to store the index of the sensor for, for the heat sink temperature. And I want to have this somehow controllable at the user interface because let's imagine one index I could hard code it. Okay, I could find out during coding uh, that the first the first sensor I don't know is the air temperature because it has the lowest one wire address. The second sensor is the process temperature because it's second lowest and so on. Yeah, and then I'm fine. Everything is working fine until I'm replacing one sensor. Yeah? Let's say one sensor is broken. I am replacing this. This has a different uh, one wire address and then the order might be different. So what I want to do is I want to have those index values adjustable at the user interface. Yeah? So those things here. Yeah? I want them adjusted user interface. I want to have a page where I can have a look. Okay, process temperature is currently index sensor number zero yeah, and has this value. And I want to have a button where I press and say, no, this is the wrong sensor. Please make another sensor. I will use sensor index number two for process temperature. I want to select which index for which temperature. I want to select those in the user interface. Yeah? And this is what we are going to try now. Yeah? Yeah, last time we also we already have adjusted two sensors. One it was the heat sink, one was the process. And here I will add another one. This is another form factor. This is the sensor itself, yeah, which is here in, in these devices, it is located inside this tube here. So this is water resistant. You can you can put it in water, and this is of course not water resistant. However, it's the same sensor. And here it is the case. If the if he if here the label, yeah, this is minus, 
the right one is plus and the middle one is data. So I will just put this in here. Yeah, I have already bent the, the connections so that it fits to this 2.5 millimeters. Right. Should be should be okay hopefully. I hope the others are also still plugged in. This is if you're not soldering. The, the biggest the biggest disadvantage of those breadboards is that you know there is you might have a loose contact. Yeah. Alright, now we have three sensors, so we should be able to see three sensors. Plug this in and start coding. Main page. Uh, ooh, 85. Uh, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Okay. See? Lose contact. <laughs> Alright. Let's program. Okay. I also want to exchange or, or, or put this in a separate H file. And separate header file, these definitions for the temperatures and so on. So I will add again a header file, new element. I it shall be a header file. How do I call it? I call it temp config, temperature config. Okay. Move this to the right, to the to the left. <laughs> Move this to the left, and I'm going to define now numbers. Uh, I say my temp process shall be index number zero. Uh, I say my temp uh, sink, heat sink, shall be number one, uh, and I define my temperature, ooh, no, ooh, I had a lot of define. <laughs> define uh, air shall be a number two. All right, then I define maximum temp sensors. This shall be three. Uh, do a little bit. And now, uh, I will make the indexes, yeah? and the byte should, should be sufficient, I guess. Uh, byte uh, damp sensor index. Yeah? And this is an array of maximum damp sensors. Maximum temp sensors uh, and initially this should be zero, zero, zero. All right. So every sensor, yeah, so for temp process is zero, temp seek is one is zero, temp air is 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 also zero. So I set now every sensor to zero, so all three sensors should be the same temperature, physical temperature sensor. Okay, so all three temperatures. And I will also define names. Uh, string temp names. This is also an array of maximum temp sensors. And this shall be, well, the first one is called process. The second one is called heatsink, and the last one is called air. Okay. So now I have defined those values. I have defined those values. I also have to include here hashtag include uh, the temp config. Of H. Good. 
Now I should have this available. So actually what I need is I have to display this at this page. So I have to display this here at output temperature sensors. I have to display whatever. Here this is 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This, this should be sufficient. Then I ooh, already print the first line. And in the second line, hmm, I need a variable which is storing which is storing which sense I want to display. I'll make this here byte act temperature sensor. This should be initially with zero. Huh? Good. Then we make a set cursor. Zero I will write in the next in the next in the next line uh, lcd dot print I will simply write here a T uh, and I will act temp sensor uh, smaller than 10 then I will print a zero a leading zero And then I will I will print yeah, the number. We only have three sensors, but now I'm, my program would be fit to have 99. Yeah? If we are below 10, I'll print a leading zero. Yeah? column and then I'll simply print the name of the sensor. Yeah, I will do this. Yeah. LCD dot print mm. and here we have the name of the sensor and this is temp names. From uh, act temp sensor okay so now on the temperature page I should see I should see I will remove this oh, maybe I need it afterwards uh, I will not remove it <laughs> not remove it yeah I will try to upload this now successfully uploaded. Let's see if we're changing to the... Ooh. This really looks strange. Huh? Temperature zero. At least the zero is written. Uh, at the, then the text is really really strange yeah uh, why is that why is that okay Okay, so the only thing, the only thing I've done is I move this, I move this to, to the main program. So in the header file it was not working, so I will do it here. Okay, good, shall be, uh, shall be, 
Okay, but at least it looks good now. <sighs> now I want to switch through through the 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 temperature sensors. I will use I will use the star and the hashtag button. So in case In case we have the button star, or what was the key? It was key. Key star. Huh? Here we need a break. This is the wrong level. Here we are. So the key, let's have a look at the key. Uh, the key, the star is here. I would say this should be up and this shall be down. Yeah. So here I want to, here I want to add something. Yeah, and do this. Uh, oh, I should have remembered the name. Egg temp sensor. Egg temp sensor. Yeah, and I have to check this. Yeah, I will. I will use now the tertiary parameter. So this should be up. We have said. So if this is bigger than zero, yeah. If this is bigger than zero. Uh, we will set a act temp sensor to minus minus. If it is zero, uh, if it is zero, we set act temp sensor to max temp sensors. Minus one. Is it called max temp sensors? It's written like that. Good. Yeah. So now, and we will output output temperature once again. And in case we have the hashtag. Again, what is this? Hashtag, yeah. If sensor is smaller than max temperature minus one. Then add something. If not, set to zero. Okay, now I should be able to switch through the temperature sensors. Yeah? Upload. Build failed. Of course. This was wrong. Build, upload, uploading, camera peak. Let's see. Ah, okay. Now we have started main page, parameters, temperatures, temperature zero process. And I should be able to go down here. One, two, Erzink. Aha. Process, aha, uh -huh. heatsink, aha, uh -huh. okay. I have to be sure that the rest is overwritten. I have to be sure that the rest is overwritten. Uh, because I, good, but actually it's, it's working. Actually it's working. Uh, so 
how to be sure that the rest is overwritten, I will simply extend the names here. Yeah. Heat, two, three, four. Ah, good. Should be sufficient. Should be sufficient. All right. So the only thing which is left now is I have to, to, to display which index I also have to display this. Yeah. So I will go to LCD dot set cursor zero and two next line uh, LCD dot print what do I print? I will simply one, two, three, four, five and I write sensor number uh, and then I will print the temp sensor index of the actual temp sensor. This is now the index. This is now the index of which which sensors I have in my catalog, yeah, in my temp sensors. And then I will make the LCD print uh, and then I will have to put out a value. I really have to put out a value. How to do this? I want that I'm not running into the same issue I have here that the rest of the value is still written there. I want to have it at a fixed position. The comma at a fixed position, I want to have it there. So I will write simply here a void. Huh? What is this? Get key, yeah. uh, output value, yeah. and I will make I will make here uh, some handover parameters. I will say byte at which column, at which row, yeah. and I will make a value. Yeah. I want to print this value there, okay? I want to, to somehow only print character by character, so I will, I will have this display while and I will remember the digit, digit position, yeah? and how many, ah, it's just start with seven. So I'll print the last one. I will print the last one, then the next one, the next one, the next one. You know, I will start from the back. All right, I will start from the back. Ah. Uh, set cursor column line or row. If value uh, is smaller than zero, uh, then I will say this well is not value, also is is, is negative. Yeah, and I will already print the negative value. So we'll, and I said seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here make zero, zero. Make a dot, zero. Already print something like this. And, uh, then I could plus minus 9999. This is good. This is good. Else. I will copy this and this shall be value 
and here I will make a plus. Okay, and then while this display value is is bigger than zero, I will now say byte digit. The digit is the display. Modulo 10. Yeah. So this is the last, the last one in this display value. Uh, modulo 10. And the display is divided by 10. And at some point in time we will reach zero. Yeah. And then I will set the cursor uh, to the digit position and the row. And I will print lcd dot print this one digit. Push, this is working. <laughs> and I will make digit position minus minus that the next one is. Then I will start from the back and print one after the other. Okay. Then there is this comma also. Uh, if digit pos uh, equals cal plus one, two, three, four, five plus five. Then I will make an other minus minus that I can skip this 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 comma point. Okay. So now my value is should be there should be an output. Yeah, with plus and minus, and at a fixed position, and I will always always write like this, so every underneath everything underneath will be gone. Hopefully. Phew. Down here at the output. Yeah. Phew, what was again this? It was called menu position. Equals equals and what was the menu menu temp in this case I'm going to output temperatures and I will output where yeah output value no I have, I have it done output value where do I need it in the third in the second line and at where I will start at twelve. Let's see. Let's see where it is. And then I need the value. And this is no, not this value. It is temp sensors. Get temperature from temp sensor index from Act temp sensor. Ooh, this is a, this is now. Ooh, okay. Remove this. So in the temp sensor index, the index of the sensor is written, and I need the index from the sensor which is actually displayed. Upload. Try and error. Main page, parameters, temperatures. Ooh. Ugh. Eighty five. Twenty four dot six. Which sensor is this? This one? Yes. 
going down. So temperature sensor zero process is sensor number zero. Temperature sensor one is also sensor number zero and temperature number two is also sensor number zero. It always displays the same value. I don't like that this value is written there. Uh, I will but at least I managed to find the correct Y position. So this must be of course two. Uh, then it's then it's up here. Then it's up here if it's two. And I really have to remove those. Hmm. I will simply try if we can read out the others. So I will not say it's zero. It's one, it's two. Let's see if we get let's see if we get values from all others. Sensor number zero twenty four. Which one is it? This one? No, is it this one? Yeah! So this is sensor number one, and here sensor number two, 24, and this is this one, right? I touch it, see if it's getting hotter. It's getting colder. It's a like ice cold hand. Why is that? Ah, no. Now it's reacting. The heat sink is working proper. Huh? Yeah, why? I have to warm the heat sink, the whole heat sink with my hand. Huh? Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting, it seems like I'm getting data of all, of all things. The heat sink is not this one. This should be air. Yeah, and the heat sink is there. So I will exchange exchange the heat sink and the, the air sensors. Yeah. This I could do here. Yeah. So this is sensor number two and this is sensor number one. Yeah. Now I have changed the, the, the maps, the mapping. Upload this and now I should have the correct value, hopefully. Yeah. Let's see. Main page. Temperatures. Temperature zero. Process temperature. This is the process temperature. Check. It's changing. Yeah. Then heat sink temperature. Sensor number two. You see it changed here. And sensor number two was this back here. I will touch it now. Yes, it is reacting. Sensor number two correct. And here the air temperature, sensor number one, this is this one, also reacting. Good. Yeah. Okay, so now we managed to have this mapping between the sensors and, and the expected values. If we do not want to have this configurable, yeah, we are done. We are there, we are ready. Yeah. So we could use it as it is. However, I want to change, to have this changeable. Yeah, I want to, this mapping, I just changed the mapping and I want to have this, that this can be done via this, this uh, keyboard. Yeah. But honestly, now it's enough. Yeah, this will be then in next video to make this changeable, right? So for this time, Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.